clearly the big story is CM Punk is injured. We don't know exactly what the injury is. He said he had broken bones, I believe, plural, in his promo uh, on Rampage. He, he wrestled on Dynamite last week, but he was clearly in pain after he did the spot where he came off the top rope. We're not really sure where he got injured. Some were speculating it was on the crowd dive. And then I seen some stuff about within the match where he came off the top rope. Whatever the case is, I mean, there's a lot of information floating out there about how long Punk is going to be out of action. I've seen anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks, sometime in there. It's not going to be like a Cody Rhodes situation. He's going to be back earlier than that. But obviously, they've chosen to do an interim champion. I'm not a huge fan of interim champions. They do this in the real world in combat sports. And it, you know the crowd doesn't really buy interim champions. But this is what they're going to do. So we're going to have a battle royal on Dynamite. The winner of the battle royal will then face John Moxley who has went from, what, number four to number one in the in the rankings <laughs> in the last few days. Uh, so then Moxley will face the Battle Royal winner. That person will go on to Forbidden Door to take on the winner of Tanahashi and Hiroki Goto. So I assume it's going to be Tanahashi. We'll see what happens. We don't know who's going to be in the Battle Royal. They're down some star power right now. Um Brian Danielson's out like one to two weeks right now with an injury. Uh, Alvarez had report, reported that Adam Cole was going to be out. They were going to hold him out of the ring until Forbidden Door. So, I mean, if you look at this Battle Royal on Wednesday night, you got to think they got to get Christian in there. Probably Wardlow, too. Don't you think? I mean, you want to protect Wardlow, but, uh, Eddie, I mean, they're what down. About, what about Eddie Kingston? Kingston, yeah. I, 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 would, I would consider making Eddie Kingston the interim champion. Yeah, why not? Because at least would be I I think I'm the only person who doesn't really like the idea of Mox as the interim champion. I don't know, it just seems kind of boring. It doesn't really do much for me. And, I I don't mind it, but I honestly I'd like to see him when he gets the title back be a more what's the term for it? Like real championship run versus an interim champion. I don't know. Well, okay, so let's talk about this interim thing real quick. You, you can call it an interim champion, you can call him the real world champion, you can call him Susan whoever gets this thing, okay? The bottom line is it's an interim world champion because everyone's going to view the person, whoever gets the title, as someone who only has the title because Punk got hurt, and it's all about waiting for a match when with Punk when Punk can get back in the ring. Yeah. So the, the, the kind of the mindset and the way you look at it uh, is no different whether they're doing an interim championship or not. Um, I, I think an interesting point to be made, and we, again, we don't know how long Punk is out. Look at Roman Reigns and his schedule, the world champion there. Did they need to strip Punk? Well, they didn't strip him. Oh, well, well whatever. Did they need to, like, do they need to create, I mean, could they have uh, just do they added... need to do, do they need to create an interim champion? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it could have been an opportunity to put some more focus on the TNT title for a yeah. while. So, and Scorpio Sky, by the way, is also apparently a little banged up. So, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that's what we're going to find out, you know, you know how I think that's the big concern to me is actually even more so than who gets this interim title is how long is Punk out? Because that's a big blow. I mean, they had. God, I mean, you hope he can be back by all out. Yeah. Three months. I mean, especially if it's in Chicago, if that's his return match, it's going to be absolutely huge. Two years in a row in Chicago. I mean, that's a that's an argument to definitely have the show in Chicago. Yeah. If that's going to be the target date for him to return, um, yeah, I mean the unification match will be big. They could, I mean, that could be done in a big way to draw some buys. I'm not a huge fan of interim champions, but if they do it right, it'll be compelling. But I agree with you; they didn't have to do it. They could do videos, you know, Punk from home recuperating, keep the keep the world champion on the show, even though he's not wrestling here and there, not every week. I don't think that I don't think that they had to do the interim champion bit, but that's where we're at. I see in the chat people are saying MJF with his buzz. Um, I, I don't. That, that's an option too. It absolutely is.